How you going guys? Uh, new day, new video. Uh, today we are going to be installing some ARB purge lines or purge valves um, for my air lockers. So yeah, it's an ARB purge valve. Uh, these are to help prevent oil coming back up your line or when you do you can uh, simply just push this button here and it will uh, release and push the oil out. Uh, this one, just here, the orange one. Um, I've been meaning to do this for a while because I've had trouble with my rear locker. I've had trouble with my both lockers, but mainly my rear locker. Um, I'll show you my solenoid and you can see why I'm doing it. These oil getting pushed all the way up to the solenoid, which will stop the actual locker engaging, which is not fun when you're in the tracks. Um, I had trouble with it yesterday, just getting wood. Um, simply just wanted to put the locker in. Uh, I didn't want to put it in four drive, but it didn't work. So I had to get out in the mud and put the hubs in, which is a pain in the ass. Anyway, uh, so got this off the local ARB shop in town. Um, this is the kit, uh, yeah, this is the kit that you get, um, so you got your instructions, you get your, um, your valve, you get your, um, five to six mil, uh, five to six? Yeah, five to six mil, um, fittings, so if you've got six mil line, which I do, I want the bigger line. Um, you fit these black ones, which I've just done on this one. Um, instead of going to five mil, you go to the six. So that's just simply just unscrew them from there. And uh, yeah, you're right to go. Uh, what else you get? You get your line. Uh, that's just going to be the five mil. That will be uh, dumped into your chassis rail somewhere. Chassis rail. Um... Yeah, so it's pretty straightforward. You've got to mount it as close to your diff as possible. Well, that's what they recommend. So I'll be doing that. Um, yeah, so I'll just be going in there. It's just going to be a simple fix for when you're on the tracks and you are having lock of trouble. You can just push that button and um, be done with it. I've been on the tracks many times now where I've had to unscrew the fitting um, from the back to actually um, push your oil out, which is just pain in the ass. Um, and this will just be a simple push the button, and we are good to go. So, yes, I'll um, get into it now and yeah, give you some updates along the way. Um, yeah, apart from that, should be an easy install. They uh, supply it with some tech screws, which, yeah, I don't think I'll be doing that, but. Uh, See what I can do. Uh, sorry about the dirt. Um, I did have it clean until yesterday getting wood cutting. Um, so this is my line. It goes straight into my um, diff housing on the pumpkin. Um, I didn't have it set up this simple last time, which you know all you have to do here is just push that fitting down to um, release your line yes yeah, so i had a banjo bolt that was uh fitted here and it would uh you know shoot this way and then the line would just attach to that just to keep it sort of like that way um at the end i just did this for the simple fact that if it snapped off hopefully i could fix it easier um anyway this is still going to be an easier fix with a purge valve so I've just got to mount this somewhere up here. Um, it wants it as close to the uh, diff as possible. Uh, just be to get as much oil out of the line, I guess. Um, so I'll have a look around and uh, see where I can find a mount it at somewhere up here. Simple, somewhere simple to get to as well to push the button. Yeah, go from there. 
Uh, yeah, you know your airline's full of oil and it's dripping out after cutting it. So anyway, I found a spot for it. I'm just gonna sit it on top for now. Um, all this is gonna change soon. Um, so I'm not gonna fuss around with it too much. Um, yeah, so we'll put it in, purge it up, and uh, try and get a video of see how much oil comes out of it. So I've just got it sitting there for now. I'll try and get a video, see how much oil comes out of this. <laughs> yes, lots, <laughs> lots of oil. So as you can see, uh, my rear locker wasn't working. And that would be why. So, not good. I did go through some deep water the other day and I reckon that's probably half of it. Now I'm gonna have to take the top of this solenoid off and just clean it. Yeah, anyway, you sort of get the idea of uh, what it's for and how to do it. Uh, simple, you know, half an hour install. I'll do the front, and yeah, anyway. All right, well, thanks for watching. It's only a short video, I know. Um, not a very good one either, but um, yeah. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe, please. Um, that helps out heaps. Um, try and get to the goal that I want to get to. So anyway, we'll see you on the tracks. See you next time.